We have the U.S. President Barack Obama closing off a CEO summit with an address. First time he's addressed a CEO summit in three years. And the most notable announcement he made was the extension of visas for Chinese nationals. I'm very pleased to announce that during my visit, the United States and China have agreed to implement a new arrangement for visas that will benefit everyone from students to tourists to businesses, large and small. Under the current arrangement, visas between our two countries last for only one year. Under the new arrangement, student and exchange visas will be extended to five years. Business and tourist visas will be extended to 10 years. Now, speaking to APEC, the U.S. president ended his speech by saying, as long as I'm in office, which is still another two years, I will invest in you. APEC representing about 60 percent of the globe's economy, GDP, and 40 percent of the population. So that was a good sign off there from the U.S. president. But the most significant event of the day has got to be this meeting between the Chinese president Xi Jinping and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. There's a lot of questions about whether or not they would even shake hands at this event. So the fact that they even had this informal sideline summit was quite a relief for those watching APEC thinking, well, the two largest economies in the Asia Pacific and the two leaders who haven't met since both gone into office in 2012, at least their friends once again are trying to be friends and to trying to find some sort of resolution. Now, we did have uh, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, also in attendance. And uh, given that China and Russia really show a united front here, uh, we have that $400 billion gas deal, 10 years already signed. But then they might open an eastern front as well. So does that mean more gas supply and more energy supply coming from Russia? And does China, I guess, write the checks for some of this uh, gas supply? So all in all, it's been a very busy day here at APEC, and we do still have the U.S. president's state visit continuing in Beijing. At APEC 2014 for CNBC, I'm Susan Lee.